Fly fishing for different species is becoming very popular. This episode of Sport Fishing on the Fly takes us to the Pacific Ocean near Clackwood Sound off Vancouver Island in British Columbia, where salmon are the first choice of sport fishers. But there are also many other species ready to take a fly. We are guided today by Sean Bennett of Way West Resort. Sean's an excellent guide and has been keeping close tabs on the whereabouts of black rockfish. These freight trains live in schools, and when they're actively feeding, the action is non-stop and well worth the effort. Right, bass fishing. Oh, I'm looking forward to you. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Oh, you bet. Hey everyone, welcome to Sport Fishing on the Fly, and today it is bass fishing, but it's not freshwater bass fishing saltwater bass fishing for some black rockfish. And these are little horses, these guys. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Sean Bennett of Way West Marina Resort is here to guide hey, us today. Sean. Hey, Sean. Hi, guys. How's it going? Glad, really good. Glad so to have you here. So what do we expect out there today for weather? I mean, now weather, we've heard so much about the West Coast. Uh, the West expect? Coast, you can experience everything. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like today we might have some clear skies, might have a bit of cloud. Uh, let's hope we don't see any rain. How about oh. the waves out there? Yeah, how long waves, are they going to be? Uh, uh, in particular, the areas we're fishing, there might be a little bit of chop, maybe maybe a little bit of a swell. Well, oh, that's all right. Okay, yeah. we can deal with that. A little lumpy. So where do we go looking for these fish? Uh, we're going to be fishing rocky outcroppings, kelp beds, and uh, uh, depths anywhere from 20 to 40 feet. And how, maybe. how far are they to find? Are they pretty tough fish to find? Uh, they can be. It's not a matter of running up to the first kelp bed that you see and hooking one. You can get lucky doing that, but we're, we've got an advantage. We've got a a fish finder and uh, sometimes they stray away from the kelp beds and we'll find them in open water. And local knowledge, your little local secret spots. Is... That's <laughs> right, that's right. Well, when do we get rolling? Sounds Let's good to me. Get some. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, and there's a bunch falling. Oh, fish right here, yeah, I got my line right here. Okay, let him go down and maybe he'll uh, excite oh, the whole nice school. Thing. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, yeah, we hit the school. I just had a hit. Did you? There, I got one too. Double header. Double header. Woohoo! We're into it. All right. We found him. Oh, yes. Okay. There he is. Yeah, I'll grab some pliers here. Oh. Yeah, the Dr. Slick See pliers. if I can get your... Uh... I'll bring him up. Oh. Done. Well, he's not that big, but boy, did he ever hit good. He hit hard. Good scrappers. Oh, oh, these little black bass or black rockfish, quick little things to fish from. We're doing the bottom fish. You know, we're trying to get down, trying to get anything. Some lean cod. We oh. hit the school of blackfish. What a blast. This is an eight-weight rod. Oh, <laughs> they just pump them. Unreal. So hopefully we're just going to float through this whole area here and, and get some. Oh, show you yeah. how, oh, there's, there's a nice, nice one. one. There he is. Oh. Oh. Well, you know, we wanted to do some bass fishing, but saltwater bass fishing, hey, it's awesome. This is it. Oh, this he is did a number on your fly there. Oh, did he? Two grand. Yeah. Uh, All right, I think. Uh, truly bass fishing is actually a rockfish. Yes. Black rockfish. We oh, they do refer call to them black as bass also. black bass or, or uh, bombers. Sometimes we refer to them as. And look at the eyes on them. Look at oh, how big the eyes are. Fly. They have really big eyes. They've got a lot of uh, teeth on the top. You said. Almost like a rasp. So check check your leaders. Uh, right on. We'll do what a great on looking fish. Oh, good taking run. Taking line on you. <laughs> yeah, he's taking line. Oh, Sean, you found him. You know, you said Finally, you had to yeah, find the yeah. school, go in search of them. Use a sounder, and they're not always in the kelp. They can be uh, within 300 yards of the kelp. Oh, yeah, we found the school yeah. for sure. There's a lot of action going on. Boy, is that ever a blast when you get into them, though? It's every cast. That's right. Oh, they're, look at this guy. They're not too go. picky, but when they're feeding oh. aggressively, you'll pick them up every cast. Look at the line he's taking, too. That's what we're seeing. Uh, you know, the Pacific salmon isn't the only species to come out for when you come to way west. You can. Get into these. Uh, oh, there's a nice oh, one. That's nice, nice big nice. black bass. It's not black gla rock It's not fishing. glamorous fishing like the salmon, but there's still lots of oh, fun. Oh, that's a fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and you hook one every cast. Fun. <laughs> oh, is it ever? Man, oh man. Oh, your fly just popped. Oh, out it just there. popped right out. Good. We want to show everybody these fish. A little bit about them. You have a little bit of a, a spine at the back here, and these can uh, oh, these can yeah. cause a little bit of pain if you get. And also, set. they got the real big eyes. Like we were saying before, and inside their mouth, they've got the real raspy part. You're saying the real yeah. This this will do a number on your on your tippet. If uh, if the if they take it deep, 
they'll work they'll work on your leader and you'll bust them off. All oh, right on. Um, but you're setting the hook as soon as you feel the tap. A lot of times they'll take it on the way down and they suck it in and you'll snap them off. And what a beautiful day too. Nice and sunny today. No fog. A little bit of a wind, you know. We have a quite big swells going on, but that's fine to fish in. I think you have to expect that out here on the west coast. You're going to yeah. be fishing in that's a right. little rougher water. Early not... morning, later evening, uh, late, just before dark, uh, the wind settles down the swells. But you can you can experience anything out here. Yeah. So be prepared when you come out here. Make sure you got the rain gear for sure. Dress warm because that wind is always cool. Ooh. Well, that's a nice one. What a good fighter. That. Oh, we've definitely found fighter. the found the hole. So tell Sean. us a little bit about these fish. Because uh, they're not really a, they're not a bass, they're not no, a cod. They're not a typical rock fish because they don't sit, they don't sit on a rock pile at the bottom. They're, they're transient. I feel they're transient. They school and they move about. Uh, we're, we're off the kelp bed. Uh, like I said, you can still find them in the area if you use your sounder as a tool. Okay. Um, but uh, travel the whole surface, uh, or from surface to the bottom. So they travel the whole water column. Okay. And, uh, and the spines, like this is just one of a family of fish. That's right. It's the rockfish family, and they're just a little bit different than, than the normal rockfish that people jig up with jigging lures. Uh, they're a little more available to the fly fishermen. Yeah. And they're great sport. What a blast. Yeah. Like fishing for bass is great. <laughs> <laughs> and there's, and there's a lot a few, more there, too. Yeah, there's a few shown on the sounder. They're in them thick. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's almost every cast. It was earlier. And yeah, now we're getting them every second. Cat. If you can stay in the school and get the fly to them, you'll hit them every time. So for these fish, what's your recommended setup that you like? Uh, just like you're fishing there, an eight weight, uh, good quality reel and drag, uh, yeah. as well as some heavy sinking lines. That we're getting them fairly shallow, but when they're when they're sitting a little deeper, oh, that's a nice fish. Yeah. You, you're using. Uh, Sink tip lines uh, or shooting heads, 250 grains right up to 450 grains. Okay, and as far as the grains now, that's just like steelhead weights and salmon right, that, weights. That's the actual weight of the tip of the head, yeah. and then you usually have a floating line or running line uh, off that head. These are complete uh, lines; they're not they're not connected in a shooting head system at all. Okay, and also we've got about uh, eight feet of, of leader material, and they're six to eight feet. We're using the 10 pound test. We find that's a, that's a real good thing. The fluorocarbon, the Amqua fluorocarbon, is, is an excellent uh, choice. And we've got the big streamer fly. Now, this fly is imitating what? Just a, 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 a general squid. Well, how about we tie that on the bench? You tie me up one of those patterns and show everybody do. how to tie it? Sure. Because it seems do. to be working great today, so we'll tie one of those up and great. we'll go to the bench. When we come back, we'll have some more great fishing. Sounds right good. On.